Oasis was started in 2012 to principally solve three main issues. First one is around transparency in these models. Really critical to understand what they can do, but just as important what they can't do. Secondly, we want to increase choice. Choice in models from academia, from science, from places all around the world. And lastly, innovation. We wanted to spawn new innovators and make it easier for them to come into the world of catastrophe modelling. So what is Oasis Loss Modelling Framework? Well, first of all, it's a not-for-profit company. Its software is open source and freely available and people can download it anytime they want. Secondly, it's a series of standards encapsulated in the software that make it much easier for model providers around the world to make their models available to a broad community. So Oasis is really designed for three types of users. First one is model builders, scientists, SMEs around the world that want to get their knowledge and insight into the hands of end users who want to understand risk better. Secondly, perhaps the prime marketplace for Oasis models and software is the insurance and reinsurance industry who for over 30 years now have been using these models to assess risk and understand the capital requirements of the businesses that they serve. Lastly though, a very important constituency for us is developing countries and cities. So this is an emerging area where one of the key goals that we set up Oasis for was the democratisation of risk and that community is one that should really benefit in the future.